This is a virtual presentation for the second international conference of the Constructed Environment, October 2011, in Chicago. The conference stream is social impact and the project is research focused. The title, Ciudad Juarez Urban Image Transformation for Peace, Study of Urban Advertising's Impact on Inhabitants' Perception. The research team was formed by Salvador Valdovinos, professor, Erika Rogel, professor, and Marco Puga, alumni of the School of Graphic Design, Universidad Autónoma de Ciudad Juárez, in Mexico. Ciudad Juárez, the main border city in northern Mexico, suffers from the highest level of insecurity and violence. Business ads pollute the visual environment and increase feelings of restlessness and disorder. This graphic design study was aimed to collect information about human image's impact on inhabitants' perception. Street violence and insecurity presented itself as a challenge, as approaching people on the street for interviewing was not possible. However, we found a solution to help approach the people. We found a tool in Corsacop's digital multimedia software, developed by Matt Zoar, that allowed us to present photos and videos in a non-linear way. We videotaped several sections of the main avenue in Ciudad Juárez from an automobile. We then uploaded the videos on Corsacop along with a questionnaire and sent it to our database through the Internet. This digital instrument allowed us to present to the people a safe virtual tour of Ciudad Juárez's most popular routes. It also helps people to remember different parts of the avenue in a random way and allowed them to view the area of research of our study. The inquiry instrument was sent to almost 1,000 people living in Ciudad Juarez, Chihuahua, both male and female, between the age of 18 and 55 years old, from medium and medium-low socioeconomic level, as well as to those with high school and university studies. The answers we got from for our five open questions were passed through TAG Crowd for analysis. The first question was about feelings, which addressed sadness. Clark and Eisen, researchers of feeling states and social behavior, explained that this negative effect can promote a more effortful, systematic, analytic, and vigilant thought, and multi multi motivational processes designed to improve mood. The second question was about ideas. The results showed us 43% of negative words, while the other 57% of words referred to negative concepts. From this question, we can conclude that they do not like what they see. The third question was about the things attracting attention. The people's answer was, the disturbing amount of images and ads producing such saturation, which they find just impossible to understand. The fourth question was about objects that were not in harmony with the urban landscape. And the answers were weeds, garbage, electricity poles, cables, and ads. The fifth question was about possible solutions. A couple strong ideas were presented. One was to clean the streets and the other was to design a system that unifies and orders the streets advertising system. In conclusion, People's perceptions are wide and complete, meaning participants are well aware of the whole picture. Their perception of what the streets are like are related to feelings, their attitude, and their ways of thinking and learning. 
In the people's perspective, objects such as weed, garbage, poles and cables are just as important as the ads and the advertisement. The benefits of this method are shown in time, cost, interaction, innovation, access, data quality and reliability. This reflection can contribute to providing ideas on how to get citizens' opinion on their perception. It can also help to improve the image of Ciudad Juárez and other cities based on what is important to the local residents.